you ever thought what would happen if you didn't have a job and only had the place where you lived to make some money from? Or maybe you thought you would simply love to work from home or that you would like to have an extra income without a big initial investment. Well, if you have a home with a backyard and a basement, you're in luck. Ale and wine cellar and beer garden. Ah, beer. Who doesn't like to sit at a beautiful place with friends and enjoy a nice beer, especially in the summer months? So guess what? There is a way to turn this joyful activity into a profession, and quite easily, as long as you have a backyard and a basement and your country's relevant laws aren't too messed up. Setting up your backyard as a beer garden is a very low-risk small business, and while it may have some prerequisites that you may have to go through to do it, so long as you fulfill those, it is totally doable. Just think that if you have a nice place where people want to be, sitting with their friends in a nice surrounding, it is not even necessary to serve your own unique product there. In fact, most beer gardens in the world simply serve commercial beers and wines. However, making your own ale and wine will have some advantages that will be discussed in a while. The most challenging part will be creating a small piece of paradise on earth, where people want to spend their time and money with their friends. This will mean some serious gardening work, which can, however, cost very little money. It is crucial that your garden looks and feels like a beautiful place to be. Nothing else is even remotely as important as that. Obviously, the way you will set up the garden, the plants you will choose and even the furniture will depend on the climate of your area. If, for example, you're in a very dry area, you may be able to do it even by planting some fast-growing trees that provide good shade. If you live in a rainy area, then you will need umbrellas, tents or some other more permanent shelter in your garden. Just remember that, whatever you do, it has to blend in aesthetically with the rest of the elements in your garden, as well as with its theme, if it has one. The music, or the lack of music, also has to fit the particular big garden. Trellises will enhance the beauty of the place, especially with climbing plants especially with beautiful and or fragrant flowers, unless you have chosen to go with a very different theme or you choose something like an ivy. Generally, the plants, be it flowers, shrubberies or other arrangements supported by metal or wood, are crucial to make the place feel like it should and also serve to hide whatever view is not wanted. Ideally, there shouldn't be an angle in which customers can possibly see something that they won't like wherever they're sitting in the garden. The furniture will have to be chosen for their aesthetics, but also for their durability, especially if you're planning to run this for more than the summer months. The garden will have to have a path, which will lead from the entrance to the sitting area. Obviously, you should plan to advertise this new place in town in whatever way possible, but also you have to make sure that whoever passes in front of your place instantly knows what is going on inside. This, depending on the layout, can either be easily visible just by passing by, or, if not, you can have some panels that include pictures that invite people there. Generally, your goal is to make this beer garden the amazing secret little place of everyone that comes once, where they want to go back to again and again and show their friends. The things you'll serve there can be few, but preferably of good quality and, if possible, unique, which will bring us to the ale and wine cellar in a while. But even if you have just regular products, none will complain. The most important thing is that, whatever path you choose, you shouldn't screw up with serving quality and customer relations. You don't need to serve a huge variety of meat platters to accompany the beverages, you can have two or three options for each thing, more just tends to confuse and clutter the customer's mind. And you can adapt the things you offer to what the customer wants, or what they will come to your place for. Them coming back is your goal after all. Adding a nail and wine cellar to this business is something that will give it a new air and have some very positive side effects that can really help both in the short and the long run. One is that it will be easier to gain popularity if you also produce some things on your own. 
especially if you only serve things you produce, which is a little harder, but it can be done. Learning how to make ale and beer, as well as wines, by watching some videos on YouTube is not too difficult. You can then experiment and make different varieties of ales and wines by, for example, adding blueberries, or mixing it with honey, or growing your own hops, which is very easy and can also be part of the garden's layout, something to show the customers and brag about more or less. You can also make mead and offer it in drinking horns. There is simply so much you can do. Even organize thematic evenings and promote them via social media. The other thing you gain by making your own ale, beer and wine is that you drastically reduce your costs. Wine is also quite easy to make in small scale. And while ale is a lot harder, its main ingredient, malt, is very cheap. If you even go the extra mile and make the malt yourself from wheat and barley, then that is definitely also a strong selling point. And of course, the other thing your seller will offer you is versatility. You want to make a lighter beer or one mixed with lemon juice which is more suitable for the summer. No problem, you just make it. You don't need to contact a new supplier, stock up in more merchandise and wait until it is sold. You just modify your recipe and slap a fancy name on your new product and there you go. The ale and wine seller will also offer you the possibility of continuing business even in the months when the weather is no longer good. Adding some beer house tables that you can easily make yourself if you have a little skill in carpentry or have a friend who does. And some benches is not a very big deal and it can give life to your little enterprise even in the months when it would naturally be dormant. This of course means that your basement will have to also be made to look good and thus the setup of the wine and ale production equipment will have to fit the appeal you're after and not disrupt the flow in any way. And the best part is that you will have such a terrific place right at home. Unlike all the other people, you won't have to pay to be in such a nice place among friends and drinks every day of the year. No need to drive home after a night out anymore and a really fun and profitable little business the schedule of which you can modify every week on social media according to your wishes. What more to ask? Thanks for watching!